five. Well, with the weather getting nicer and summer just a couple of months away, people will soon be wanting to hit the water to cool off. But with uncertainty about what phase of reopening Spokane will be in in the coming weeks, some have wondered if the city pools will even reopen this summer. Well, our own Ian Smay spoke to the city's park and recreation director about what the summer may look like for those wanting to cool off. Last summer, city of Spokane pools like the Comstock Park pool behind me remained closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This led some to be worried that they'd remain closed for a second straight summer. But the city of Spokane tells me that even if the county moves back a phase, the pools will be reopening with some changes this summer. <laughs> Crews are busy preparing city of Spokane pools as the weather starts warming up. While pools were closed last year, the city's Parks and Recreation Department is moving forward with plans to reopen to swimmers. A part of this year, we really want to bring back the aquatic centers to the community and have it be a core service for the city of Spokane Parks and Recreation. Jones also says this will help with providing important programs such as swimming lessons to kids in the community, something that was hard if not impossible to do last summer. And even with the possibility of Spokane being moved back into phase two, pools will still be able to reopen under Governor Jay Inslee's current guidelines. Under phase two, 50 participants would be allowed in aquatic centers, but Jones says staying in phase three would be largely beneficial for local pools. Phase three, we can up that to 50% which is a huge boost and we'd be able to uh, increase those operations across all aquatic centers. Now some things will look different if you plan on cooling off in a local pool this summer. Under current state guidelines, pools must try to ensure social distancing for patrons not of the same household, including on the decks and in locker rooms, as well as the water, unless unavoidable. This includes the rearranging or removal of deck chairs and tables. Face coverings will also be required when not outdoors or swimming or using equipment such as water slides. Jones says working with these guidelines hasn't been much of an issue. No, not really. I mean, it all comes with our partnerships and communication, which has been great with the regional health district and our state officials. And our staff has done a great job of drafting protocols, getting the feedback. And for us, too, it's going to be communication and messaging for the community. And so we're working on that right now of just going out there and say, hey, this is what it's going to look a little different. One thing to note is that the city of Spokane says its 17 splash pads are not currently planning on reopening. That's because they would all require an attendant during all hours under current state guidelines, and they want to focus staffing on the pools and aquatic centers. In Spokane, Ian Smay, Creme 2 News.